we'll start with a conspiracy theory that has garnered a lot of interest in recent years. Flat Earthers believe, as the name suggests, that our tiny little planet is actually a flat surface and not a spherical entity, as physicists have stated. The leading theory by those in the community, many of which do not hold scientific qualifications, is that Earth is actually a continuously flat disk, with the Arctic Circle residing in the center of its surface, and that Antarctica is a 150 foot tall wall of ice, which surrounds the rim. They claim that NASA employees are stationed around the perimeter to prevent people from climbing over or falling off its edge and into the never ending abyss of space. The conspiracies of a possible flat earth scenario came to fruition as far back as the early Egyptian and Mesopotamian periods, where in many texts and illustrations, the world was portrayed as a disc floating in the ocean. A pseudo-scientific belief was established by English writer and inventor Samuel Robotham with his 1849 pamphlet, Zetetic Astronomy, the contents of which inspired fellow pamphlet writer and social activist Lady Elizabeth Blount to establish the Universal Zetetic Society in 1893. Before the rise of popular belief groups, Samuel Shenton, an English conspiracy theorist and lecturer, set up the International Flat Earth Research Society in 1956 having been considered a direct descendant of the Universal Zetetics. Based on the literature and beliefs from the Flat Earth community, many are most likely motivated by religion or hold strong convictions to the environment and the universe as a whole. Of course, there are numerous counter-arguments and proof that the Earth is in fact round. However, this has not stopped the rise in conspiracy theories and deniers. Regardless of what shape the world is, I guess we are all stuck here, for better or for worse.